criticism of NMN and NR was that when you take it orally, it's not getting into the cells. Uh, but I think the data is to the point now, especially if you take a large enough dose, that it is getting to the cells. And um, the dosage that we need, the human studies really are not there yet. Uh, and I was a little bit hesitant taking it, although anecdotally, if I take a large dose, I do feel it. And I've not taken IV NAD yet, but okay. the feedback from people that I respect are suggests that it's pretty effective. Yeah, yeah uh, my my friend who do, I was telling you about who's been doing it every other day, he's, he's in his late 50s, and he says mm -hmm. he doesn't really notice much of a difference. But the first time I did it, I felt like, like I was... I could jump over the moon. Like I had yeah. like an insane energy boost that mm -hmm. I'm, I haven't, I've never experienced. Um, after that, so funny. Yeah. it wasn't so bad. One time uh -huh. I did it and I, I was, I felt like I was going to throw up for four hours afterwards. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know when you're doing it, it's extremely stressful and painful on your body. Like you feel like it's, you feel like you have the flu while you're doing it. But, yeah. but after, I think it was the third time I did it afterwards, I felt like, I, I was sick for a couple hours, yeah. which was really weird. I didn't have the energy spike. Um, I don't know if that had yeah. to do with like the needle placement, if they messed up, you know, messed it up when they put the needle in my vein or what. But um, was there anything else in the drip like uh, ascorbic acid, like vitamin they, C? Uh, yeah, was it yeah, like a Myers cocktail? Myers cocktail. Yep. Oh, okay, they okay. did the NAD. Um, okay. So, so you were experiencing that sort of like coldness that you feel and the cringe sometimes. There's different. Uh, effects you may feel also you have to acknowledge that ascorbic acid is a glucose antagonist so uh which is vitamin c so vitamin mm -hmm. c and glucose use the same transporter so when you get a big dose of vitamin c a big dose iv would be anywhere from 20 grams so you know some some clinics use like 100 grams of of iv vitamin c mm -hmm your body goes into a most reactive hypoglycemia because the the same channel the, the the glucose transporters that transport glucose also transport vitamin C right. and you're you're blocking that and uh, so there's a wide variety of effects you could feel depending upon if you went into it fasted or if you had a meal or mm -hmm. something and it probably had the pee like crazy too like right after oh yeah no yeah. the first time i did i did it fasted i felt uh -huh. great so that the time i got sick i ate an egg mcmuffin before uh-huh okay yeah yeah so that could factor into that yeah it's probably you're probably dumping a lot of uh insulin too and maybe you had mm. like a an effect after that. So very interesting. So I, I, I think there's good science emerging mm -hmm. from NAD. Uh, I'm of the opinion, let's try to increase NAD levels naturally and sustain right. it naturally. So ketogenic diets, there are some people in the field of basic science research and clinic and clinical research that feel that the therapeutic effects of the ketogenic diet on the brain and on the body are due to a boost in NAD. NAD to NADH uh, ratio. So there's a whole field of people kind of studying that uh, fasting uh, will increase NAD levels and exercise increase NAD levels. So mm -hmm. if you do a low carb ketogenic diet with intermittent fasting and exercise, you're basically doing like everything you could do to, to boost right. your NAD levels. So uh, I don't think you have to do the IV route. I think you can get the benefits and it's much easier, right, to take a supplement like Cheaper. Verso. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and uh, and I, I, yeah. it's interesting that it helped you with COVID too. You know, I didn't expect. I think it was from like an energetic point of view. Like I came down, I had very mild symptoms for about two or three days, and then I got a fever of about one hundred three point seven. And I remember I was working all day during this, uh, having to do interviews and stuff with the school. And uh, although it was virtual, I wasn't like spreading my germs around. But uh, it was that day that I actually got back on with the Verso product again. And I was I was mega dosing. I was mm -hmm. taking 12 capsules. <laughs> and I, I turned the corner real quick. Like the next day I woke up, I like sprung out of bed. I was mm -hmm. ready, you know, right at work. I was just like I had a lot of energy, but I could till, till, still feel that my immune system was in a, uh, a hyper immune surveillance point of view my glands were very swollen but mm. throughout the course of the day by the end of the day uh my glands had went down and i was just left with like you know this tickle in the back of back of your throat mm -hmm. so for me i don't know what version i had i suspect i might have had 
the Delta variant, but maybe I had the Omicron. It started as just like razor blades in my throat. And then, and then I had the fever right around that time or whatever, but it was really bad for two days and then just kind of lingered for a week or two after. Whereas my wife, we obviously got the same thing because it happened like the early symptoms started at the exact same time and we both had the same fever within mm-hmm. a for you know one or two but her symptoms were muscle pain and bone pain hmm. and uh and actually her symptoms were a little bit less than mine but uh but we both recovered pretty quick mm. yeah. and you're vaccinated uh <laughs> oh, you don't want to talk about that or well you know i am i am because of the work i do and you know i, ch- I chose to to get vaccinated uh, so I'll, I'll say that, but I am in touch with a number of people who I was within a circle, like a, a family circle and friends and everything. They all got the same variant that I got because we all got sick around the same oh, time. Oh, you guys were all together. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not, I mean, my wife is part of this bigger group and it was kind of interesting in that it did not seem to make a difference vaccinated or not, you know. Between you and your wife? Uh, or her, her symptoms were less than yours. Yeah, her symptoms were, well, I'm not going to say if she's vaccinated or not, but I'll say okay. that we were amongst her, she included in a number of different people, and actually the people that were not vaccinated probably had little or no symptoms. A couple of them, you know, didn't get infected at all. We had a big family mm-hmm. get-togethers and stuff, and right. we traveled back, right. and then got on the phone, and it was like, realized everybody was sick, so I was I got a head count of like, who's sick, what are their symptoms, and I went through everything, Yeah. and it, there was a couple people among family and friends that were unvaccinated, and they didn't even get it, but all their family members got it, so I think the bottom line is that I don't think that the whole point of vaccines was to decrease the length of the you know, the pandemic. And I don't think that happened. Right. I mean, just look at the scenario. Right. Right. No, now you have to get your fourth, fifth one. Yeah. Yeah. And whether that, I I don't think the, the protracted nature of the pandemic is due to the unvaccinated. I think we can reliably say that at this point in time. So, uh, but I mean, I think there is something to the idea, especially if you're older, uh, and metabolic health, if you have type 2 diabetes, if you're obese, if you're older, I'm all for getting vaccinated. Then it becomes questionable if you are younger, if you're a kid, like should kids, you know, that's a whole nother. I don't even choose to weigh in on that because it's so <laughs> polarized that, you yeah. know, um, but I have my own opinions. But uh, I do feel that, you know, I encouraged, you know, my, my family members who are, you know, older in their 70s and 80s and stuff mm-hmm. that might be good to get vaccinated but uh, but who knows at this point in time i just don't think it it definitely didn't help me <laughs> as far as, as i felt like i had no protection